What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server back on my man Omni's insane 486,000 might account. He is also the rank one player over here on the iOS server. If you guys did not see the last video of the full breakdown of this hero altar, you need to go ahead and check it out because it is absolutely insane. But for this video, we're going to get into his armory and also the warehouse. So let's quickly go ahead and start off with the warehouse, see if there's anything just that's not normally on accounts on this account, such as like, I don't know, 2,000 Karamic Rock 1s. That's just absolutely insane, along with 223 2s, 100 uh, threes. That's kind of weird that he only has 72 augmenting stones. I think I have like almost 200 on my account. I don't know why he has so little of those. We got 1,400 blue. What? 794 level 6 talent runes. That's absolutely insane. 61 evolution stones. Wow, look at the talents over here. We got 21 level 5 empowers. How crazy is that? 23 level 5 brute forces. We got 18 level 5 iron wheels. 13 level 5 regenerates. 39 insignia runes. Really? You have 39. All right, let's see. What all heroes? What all heroes is he going to have a massive amount? So we have 17 demos. We got 76 Trixie Treat. 48 Rock Nose. 12 Skellies. We have 12 Skellies on this account, boys. We got 32 Walla Wallas. 53 Creations. 35 Athenes. Wow. We even got two backup Levanicas. He already's got two double evolved Levanicas, but that's not enough. We need a couple backups, boys. Not bad, my good friend not bad at all <laughs> wow absolutely nasty all right so let's go ahead and take a look where is his army here's the armory right now now how do we want to go about the armory because obviously i want to see all the enchantment talents but i also want to see traits as well so should we do one at a time or should i scroll through all the talents yeah i guess we'll do what we'll do is is we'll do We'll just do hero uh, enchantment talent and then look at that hero's traits, I guess, right away. So we have 5 of 5 victory lunge on Lavanica. And then he fully stacked accuracy on his Lavanica. Wow, that is really interesting. I don't know if that's too much accuracy or not, but I like the idea, especially since he is stacking accuracy. That is what I'm starting to do on my account as well, because it seems like pretty much everybody's stacking dodge, right? And the best way to get around that is definitely to stack accuracy. And on some heroes, accuracy is definitely the way to go. No doubt about that. Like Dove Keeper, for example, I have, I think I have mainly damage on my dove keeper but i'm gonna be changing a lot of that i'm just waiting they they've slacked on us man igg stopped coming out with the freaking trait bazaar or trade event and it's like where's the trade event to uh start rolling some traits so i'm waiting on that all right let's go ahead and take a quick look we got professor rabbit ribbit with uh five of five death sentence we also have stack just basically level five uh, traits. It looks like a little bit of damage, some accuracy, and HP. Let's see, we got 5 of 5 Burning Plate on Storm Eater with mainly accuracy as well. Wow, not bad. So we got 4 accuracies and 2 level 5 dodges. That is not bad at all. 5 of 5. Ooh, that's the same talent I have on my Serena Williams as well. We got 4 dodges, 1 crit, and 1 attack. One thing you'll notice is pretty much all of these traits are level 5 as well. And each time, so let's say you take a trait from level one to level five i believe that is 80 might i think it's 20 might each level so if it goes from four to five i believe that's 20 might i might be wrong on that but i'm pretty sure that's what it is so let's see what we got for dub keeper we got five of five victory lunge and we have a dodge mainly accuracy that's a smart move and some attack that looks like a beautiful dub keeper right there no doubt about that we got five of five victory lunge on a spirita as well Wow, he has a lot of level 4 traits on this Aspirita. 2 level 4 HP. We're missing out on some might right there, boys. Could gain some might on this account. 5 of 5 Forest Ward on Sasquatch. That ain't too bad on Sasquatch. I mean, depending on what talents you go with, then what do we got for traits? We got mainly accuracy, huh? Accuracy and dodge on Sasquatch. That's kind of interesting. wonder why he wants so much accuracy on his uh, on his Sasquatch. All right, what do we got for a theme? 5 of 5 and Brittled Fury. That is interesting as well. We got accuracy with some dodge, and we got a little bit more. Uh, we got 20 more might available on the uh, theme as well. Not bad. We got 505 death sentence on creation with it looks like 
Just some random talents. A little bit of crit resist, some accuracy, and dodge on the creation. Seems like whatever comes first. We got 5 of 5 victory lunge on Walla Walla with a full stack of dodge. And we have a level 4 dodge and a level 4 accuracy. So a little bit more might able to be gained right there. What do you guys think he stacked? I'm thinking he probably... Probably didn't go accuracy on Skelly. Probably mainly dodge. That's what I have on mine. So we got five of five burning plate with, yep, may all dodge. Wow, all level fives as well with a level five attack. Not bad, my friend. Five of five unbridled fury on Mech Tessa with it just looks like some random level five traits on Mech Tessa with a nice little level four crit resist there at the end to uh, give him something to enhance his might here in a little bit. So mainly dodge on Rockno. Got a little bit of uh, attack with. A four-star dodge for a little bit more might on the Rockno as well. We got five of five blinding blow. My free-to-play has five of five blinding blow and gunslinger. <laughs> That's funny. So we also got some accuracy on gunslinger, huh? Hmm. That's interesting. Wonder why he went with so much accuracy on gunslinger. I don't feel like gunslinger really needs that much accuracy, but I guess accuracy can't be bad anywhere with everybody stacking so much dodge can't really go wrong so yeah not bad all level five traits very nice let's see what we got on ronin five of five burning plate on ronin that's interesting we also have level five dodges everywhere seems like he was stacking up dodge um on his ronin that way he could have maybe like a scorch ronin with a little bit of dodge that way his ronin could almost be invincible we got five of five victory lunge on anubis with some mainly dodge or attack, I mean accuracy and dodge. Not bad. With the level four accuracy for a little bit of more might gain on the Anubis as well. We got five of five energy sap on Heartbreaker with looks like just uh, random traits, pretty much a little bit of everything on the Heartbreaker. All level fives though, so good for the might. As for Michael, we got four dodges and two HPs. Not bad. Big boy might. Nice, very nice traits on the Michael. For Lil Nick, we have level 5, uh, what is that, Death Sentence with some attack, HP, dodge, and crit damage. Let's see. I don't really care to go over every single one of these heroes, so I might skip some. Let's uh, skip Revenant and go to Trixie. What kind of... Oh, I was going to say, what kind of freaking enchantment talent is that on Trixie? That's for Archdemon, that's why. We got mainly damage, a little bit of dodge on Trixie. A little bit more might. Uh, 5 of 5 blinding blow on Demo, huh? That is kind of interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if he set up like a full team. I've seen Blinding Blow on a couple of heroes. Set up a full team of just Blinding Blow. He has mainly dodge, so he didn't go the damage route. He just said, you know what? Demo's a little bit too squishy. We're just going to stack nothing but dodge on Demo with a four attack. Waiting for a little bit more might to gain. Let's see. We got five of five death sentence on Medusa with it looks like just whatever came up five star first we went with that on medusa is there any other heroes we really want to go over he you know what he has a lot of also is cursed battlefield there's a lot of cursed battlefield on this account i wonder if he uses that or what where does he use this to where he maybe he just uh hasn't rolled that many enchantment traits and just went with whatever came first as level five we also have just random uh traits on grimfin as well a little bit of crit resist which actually is Pretty solid for Grim Fame. We got some dodge and HP as well. Let's see. Let's take a look at Valentine. 5 of 5 Blinding Blow. He's got to have a full Lost Battlefield team with Blinding Blow. He has to. Like, why do you put Blinding Blow? You got Blinding Blow on Valentina too. That's crazy. Valentina doesn't have that much attack. We got some attack on Valentina, which is interesting, with some accuracy, HP, and dodge, and a 4-star crit resist. Not bad. We got 5 of 5 Energy Sap with a bunch of damage traits on Artica. Let's see. What do we got on Ghoulam? Sanctify Blast with all dodge. That is a very pretty Ghoulam right there. That's I don't think that's what my Ghoulam looks like, but I wish it looked like that. We got 5 of 5 Energy Sap on Dread Drake with a good bit of crit resist. Maybe just some random whatever 5 star came up first. Some dodge, attack, and a 4 star crit damage. Let's see. 5 of 5 Blinding Blow on Skull Knight with... Wow, we got one of each trait. We got two level fours on Skull Knight as well. He's got a lot of might to gain. Or not a lot, but some might to gain on some of these uh, some of these traits. No doubt about that. We got just random traits on Harpy. Anything else we need to look at? I think we've pretty much gone through all the important heroes. Let me make sure there's nothing missing in the back. What do we got on Ares here? 5 of 5 silencing shot. Very nice with just random level fives pretty much everywhere. And Cupid has 5 of 5 with... Hmm. All level 5 star traits as well. What do we got on Menno? I'm guessing all 5 star damage. 
No. We got a five-star dodge, five-star HP, and then all five-star attacks. Let's see. Five of five on Brutal Fury on Pumpkin Duke with all dodge. That's a smart move. Uh, whenever the traits come out. Actually, you know what? I might have already switched my Pumpkin Duke to all dodge. I'm not 100% sure, but if I didn't, I need to because I need all dodge for uh, Arena. Let's see what he got on Spirit Mage. Death Sentence, huh? Definitely not very good traits or very good uh, enchantment talent for Spirit Mage. Let me see. What? else is there is there anything else i want to look at on this account let's look at his lost realm level i think he's level 30 what do you guys think is he level 27 28 29 30 what is he 27 okay so he definitely got majority of his blue crystals from bazaars no doubt about that he's only level 27 in lost realm i don't really think there's anything else i care it looks like he already beat ah5 which is very nice Anything else really to uh, look at? I mean, obviously, he's got all his dungeons beat. I don't know if he... Yeah, 840 flames. Very nice. I can't wait for uh, Insane Dungeons 8. Those are going to be freaking nuts. Yeah, so this does it, boys. I don't really think there's anything else to show. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed checking this account out, man. Absolutely beast. Good job with this account, Omni. If you guys uh, were wondering, he actually, I don't know how far progressed it. I need to check out his YouTube channel. I haven't even checked it out. I literally talked to him today and found out he made a YouTube channel and was like, yeah, dude, this is sick. Obviously, he is a German player, and I imagine he builds up a pretty solid YouTube channel. Um... For all the Germans players out there, he does speak in German as well. So if you're interested in his YouTube channel, I will link it in the description below. And for now, guys, I am out of here. Peace out, fellas.